Welcome to the Mid-South Bank Halftime Report and our men's game, SFA, a four-point lead over UIW at the break. Our first game, awfully good as the SFA Lady Jacks rallied to defeat UIW earlier today, 66-56, and the winning head coach, Mark Kellogg, is with us. I mean, UIW won win on the year, but played so tough and had the lead on you in the fourth, yet the Lady Jacks ended the game at a 12-0 run. So how proud of you, or how proud are you of your team to be able to handle that adversity, perhaps some unexpected adversity, and still pull out the win? Yeah, well, I'm proud of them, but I would first credit Incarnate Word. They had a great game plan. We hadn't seen it as much this year. Uh, Coach Smith, they were prepared, and they punched us, and it was a good environment. It was loud. Good promotions going on here today in this gym. And, you know, at times we didn't handle it as well as I would have liked, especially in that first half after we got that nice lead. We just didn't handle it very well. Um, and it could have gone either way late. You know, they got the lead in the fourth or late in the third, I think, and then into the fourth and up four, and we could have folded. And, uh, you know, credit to our kids for making the right plays and uh, finishing the game off right. You have a number of stars on your team, but how unexpected was it to see Ayana Johnson, 15 of her 17 points in the fourth quarter and our Southland Strong player of the game? Yeah, well, maybe unexpected to some, not unexpected, you know, necessarily to us because we see her do this quite a bit in practice. And, uh, you know, we got the three sisters. I've said, you know, she's the longest, the most athletic of the group that can do multiple things. Um, and then we just kept riding the hot hand. We thought that was an advantage is why we went to that late. Um, you know, size for us, first them, um, and then we just kept riding a hot hand, to be honest. But credit our other kids for not taking shots that they didn't need to, and, and we just kept pouring it to Ayana. She was special. 17 points, 8 rebounds for Ayana Johnson, her sister Amani, 16 points, and 6 rebounds in the Lady Jack victory. So your team just uh, still undefeated in conference play, much like Lamar. Looks like those two are going to be two of the teams down the stretch that are going to fight for a conference title. But give us your personal thoughts on how the Southland looks. Yeah, well, I don't know that. The, I mean, Lamar's really good for sure. They'll be in the mix at the end. I don't know that they were necessarily quite in that class yet. Um, you know, they're veteran and, and got quite a few kids back on a, on a great team. Um, I think there's some other, I think Corpus is really good. I think Abilene's really good, and we go there on Wednesday. Right. So, you know, with this game now, though, I think it may have ended up being really good for us. Now we play a close game. you got to learn how to win on the road. We've been, I mean, we're young. You know, we got two seniors, and the rest are four sophomores and four freshmen right now. So we may grow up from this game, but we'll get better from it, and we'll have to be better to win, you know, at Abilene and moving forward. And again, your team undefeated in conference play, and ACU 5-1, and one, so a big one coming up on Wednesday. Thanks for joining us, and congrats on the win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mark Kellogg, head coach to the SFA Lady Jacks. The Lumberjacks looking to make it an SFA sweep. Up four at the break in San Antonio.